Configuring Cisco US NIC in Cisco Integrated Management Controller. Log in to the Cisco Integrated Management Controller. In the Navigation pane on the Server tab, click Inventory. In the Inventory pane, click the Cisco VIC Adapters tab. In the Adapter Cards area, select the Adapter Card. If the server is powered on, the resources of the selected Adapter Card appear in the tabbed menu below the Adapter Cards area. In the tabbed menu below the Adapter Cards area, click the VNIX tab. In the Host Ethernet Interfaces area, select a VNIC from the table. Note, for each VNIC that you want to configure as a US NIC, select the VNIC entry from the table and specify its properties as explained in the following steps. Click US NIC to open the US NIC Properties dialog box. In the US NICs property, specify the number of Cisco US NICs that you want to create. Each MPI process that is running on the server requires a dedicated US NIC. You might need to create up to 64 US NICs to sustain 64 MPI processes running simultaneously. We recommend that you create at least as many US NICs per US NIC enabled VNIC as the number of physical cores on your server. For example, if you have 8 physical cores on your server, create 8 US NICs. In the Properties area, update the following fields. Transmit queue count is the number of transmit queue resources to allocate. Cisco recommends setting this value to 6. Receive queue count is the number of receive queue resources to allocate. Cisco recommends setting this value to 6. Completion queue count is the number of completion queue resources to allocate. Cisco recommends setting this value to 6. Click Apply and then click OK. On the Server tab, click BIOS. In the Actions area, click Configure BIOS. In the Configure BIOS Parameters dialog box, Click the Advanced tab. In the Processor Configuration area, set the following properties to Enabled. Intel R VTD Intel R VTD Coherency Support and Intel R VTD ATS Support. Click Save Changes. The changes take effect upon the next server reboot.